everyone! It's me, Fiona Jane, aka Dr. Hikaru. Thanks a lot for the comments on my last video tutorial, which was also my first one. I have had some requests on how I just do basic makeup. So here I am without any makeup on. And the first thing I recommend to do is to start with a base. I prefer using something like Aveeno Positively Radiant. It has SPF. It's a great base. I just apply it with my fingers. But these days I've also really liked the moisturizing effects of Johnson's Baby Lotion. And it's cheap. So you just take a dab of this and you put it all over your face. Kind of let it soak in. I just use my fingers, like I said. And then the other thing is if you have any other primers you want to do while the face is soaking in, like chapstick. Right now my current fave is a Jack Black, it's actually for men, Intense Therapy Lip Balm. It also has SPF 25, which is really good when you're outdoors or you're in a wind burning place like I am in Nevada. So while that's setting, I like to usually next do my eye primer. I like Urban Decay and it's really well loved as you can see. The color I use is Sin and I like it because it adds a little brightening effect to my eyes. I have a mirror to the side so that's why I will be looking here. And I just dab it on with the applicator all over the lid and then I just use my finger to gently pat it in and put it all over crease, lid, socket, highlight. I know a lot of people from here actually like to do their face, but I like to do my brows next because sometimes that's all I do. What I'll do is I'll take a slant edge brush, like so. Um, this is the 208 from MAC Cosmetics. A lot of people also use the 266, which is a really versatile eyeshadow brush. I'm using this color here. It's a brown in espresso. You generally want to go about two shades lighter than your eyebrows if you are dark hair like me. Espresso matches really well. Or you want to go to two shades darker if you're blonde or light -haired, haired. And I just use it and I fill it in like so. Small quick steps. Just to kind of define my brows. Some people like to use a pencil. You can use a pencil as well. For most people, I would probably recommend a top color. Drugstore makeup is fine. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using something to fill. There you have it. My brows are now filled in. Touch that up a little. On a lot of days, that's probably the most I'll do. Because for me, the brows really shape and define your face. I actually have a tutorial, which you can find the link right here. It will tell you on how to figure out the brow shape for you, if you want to go ahead and watch it. It's my first video tutorial. Then after that, I usually put on an eyeshadow wash, and it's usually one color just all around the lid. This palette I've created from eyeshadows from MAC. There are all sorts of different nude shades. You don't need all 15 of these colors, just one. The one I'm going to use right now is called Shroom. It's this color over here. If you're lighter toned, you might want to move more towards these lighter colors on either end or towards the pinker ones. But for me, I'm just going to use this color. I use a MAC 217 brush. It's just a fluffy brush. Um, Sonia Koshank, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I get her brushes from Target. She also has really good fluffy brushes for uh, those on a budget. I just take the color, I take my brush, I pat it, and I just swipe it all over my lid. You can also bring it up. And you can already see the effect on how it's already kind of brightened and giving me a more awake look. And I just repeat to the other side. I like to use my finger to kind of pull. Sometimes it's easier for me to apply because the wrinkles get in the way. I'm also a contact lens wearer, so it helps me. 
You can also do it without, as you can see. From here, I'm actually not going to line my eyes today. I'm just going to curl my lashes, kind of finish this up. If you have super straight, ridiculously stubborn lashes like me, I recommend actually curling first at the base of your lashes like so. Taking it a little higher and taking the middle, curling that and then the tips. You can see that's made a difference. And you repeat with the other side. Curl out the base, the middle, and then the tips. For those of you new to using an eyelash curler, sometimes it's easier just to kind of look down first and let your lashes hit the base and then start curling from there. So you look down and then you slowly look up and you can start curling. You just apply pressure. The next step I do is my face. If you wear a liquid foundation, use your liquid foundation first and then follow with your concealer. If you're like me and you use a powder foundation, go ahead and start by putting on your concealer. I just use a brush in my fingers to help even it out and all those little imperfections that, you know, can drive you crazy. For most people, those are around your nose, right here, by your nostrils, and any blemishes you have. For me, I have a couple on my cheek. You can see that this color is just slightly shade lighter, but once I blend it in, you don't really see it as much. If you have dark circles under the eyes, dab them under here too. Take care of that. Just kind of blend it in. A lot of people recommend using your ring finger when you're blending in your makeup. And the reason for this is that it kind of applies the least pressure on you. So it's really soft and gentle on the skin. And I'm not going for a really powerful glam look or anything, so it's just really light. The next step is to go ahead and use foundation. I've used a lot of different ones. Um, the one I'm currently in love with right now is Micabella Cosmetics. They're a mineral foundation, but I also like Prescriptives, uh, Jane Erdell, Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, you name it, I've probably used it. And another thing is when you use a powder foundation, they have that plastic insert. I just poke holes so it doesn't get everywhere. And that way I can just tap it, get some on the lid. I use a kabuki brush. This one's by MAC Cosmetics 182 brush. A lot of kabuki brushes out there. Cat Cosmetics also does a really good one. I just buff it into my face. Take a little on the brush, tap the brush. And what I do is, on my pores and my cheeks, I kind of go in this sweeping motion like this and downwards towards my chin. You kind of want to go back and forth. But it's important to know which way your pores go. So around the nose, I head outwards. At the top of my temples, just kind of brush it up. I also like foundation that has SPF on it, but if you're going to be indoors most of the day, SPF does have some light reflecting properties. So if you're going clubbing, maybe not the best choice for you. Then I like to do my mascara. I know a lot of girls will do their mascara when they're doing the rest of their eyes. I do it last because sometimes when it's still wet and I'm brushing all my foundation, it gets all over the place and it gets streaky and then I have to start all over again. The mascara I'm using these days is Sephora. It's just a simple one. Um, mascara, I haven't really noticed a difference. I like Dior Show too. I like Prescriptive's False Lashes. I used to use MAC a lot. There's Bad Girl Lash. And to apply mascara, start at the base, and you kind of feather it going upwards. You can kind of see the difference it's making on my lashes. For some girls, this is one of the most defining moments of their eyes. I know my friend Melissa K. Wind of the Stars. She has some gorgeous lashes and her eyes truly pop. For everyday makeup, I recommend it as a basic staple along with your brows and whatever powder foundation you want to use.
So that is my mascara. Add as many layers as needed. Be sure to avoid any clumping. The last thing I like to do for kind of every day is just a little blush to help make my face pop out a little more. This is Flirt and Tease. It's kind of a plummy color from MAC. You can use a peachy or a rosy color based on your skin tone. I'm using a fluffy brush. So this is a MAC 136. And I just apply it to the apple of my cheeks. And upward. If you're unsure where the apple of your cheeks is, I always tell my models to smile. And whatever that fat fleshy part is, that's where you want to apply it. Based on your skin or your face shape, you might want to bring it up to your temples. Just try to avoid that 80s line by blending. Or you might just want to stay in your cheek zone, your apples right here. And now you can see that a little color has made them pop a little. And it's just this kind of sweeping check mark motion. Or you can just do a circular motion right here on the apples. And you're almost done. You can either finish off with a light lip liner. Uh, I really like this one by Bobbi Brown. It's called Toll Brown, I think is how you pronounce it. Just line your lips. I don't normally wear lipstick every day, but I found liner. Your liner can double your lipstick. apply it all over to add a color. I like to go back over with my chapstick of choice as I mentioned earlier which I also used as a base. And there you have it. Simple makeup look. Basic concealer, foundation, a little shaping to make your eyes pop, and blush. Let me know if this helped you guys and what else you'd like to see. Uh, thanks again for watching me. I now have a Tumblr. You can find the link down there. I think I'll be starting to do more beauty posts on there. Some of you may know me under the username FJ Mac on Mac Cosmetics or Asian Beauty, but um, on the Live Journal communities. Thanks for watching again. You guys have a good day. Bye.